Parsec GM says devs should be making games for the cloud. This is um, this is another cloud gaming service. Did you guys were you guys aware of this one? At some point, I want to test out this this uh, cloud service. Cloud streaming technology is having a creeping impact on the world of game development thanks to platforms like Xbox Cloud Gaming, Amazon Luna, Google Stadia, and NVIDIA GeForce Now. Players are spending more time connecting to remote servers to play their favorite games using everything from old iPhones to new laptops to access their preferred titles. Elsewhere, Amazon and Microsoft have begun offering virtual workstations to game developers Think, uh, thanks in part to technology partner Parsec. The cloud streaming service, which was acquired by Unity in 2021, has been using its service to help users access remote computers in several different fields. Game journalists used the platform in the COVID-19 pandemic to preview upcoming titles, and game studios use it to get external development partners on board and up to speed. A Parsec was first launched as a service for players to access their favorite games via the cloud, and general manager Benji Boxer is still watching how players are interacting with the service. Despite recent strides, player adoption of cloud technology still faces certain obstacles. However, the solution isn't out of reach. In a recent conversation with game developer, Boxer stressed the need to develop to, to begin mark, making games from the ground up for cloud platforms if these services are going to see any success. Here's why. Latency can be killed. Wow. While chatting with you uh, with us, Boxer described cloud computing technology as being pretty close to making everybody's dream possible. The dreams he was talking about were partly those of your humble writer who struggled to play high-end PC games and a MacBook Pro in college. In a, pers in a perfect world, anyone on any device would be able to purchase a game or access it via subscription and play it on the computer of their choice. Technical requirements and bandwidth restrictions made this dream a fool's hope until the last couple of years. From Boxer's perspective, the raw requirements are already in place. So why don't we live in a cloud-hosted utopia? It costs a lot of money to run software in the cloud. Boxer explains, as such, the question he and other cloud computing believers are currently contemplating include, what is the business model, and can you make the business model work? So how do they make money, basically, off of the, uh, the people using their servers, right? Which is subscription. I'm going to see, ad well, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see at see ads at some point especially being that google is known for ads i just wonder how they're going to do it <clears throat> companies like parsec need to wrangle with logistical realities like if enough users are using the services to justify ba bandwidth cost or if internet providers can even spin up enough bandwidth but boxer threw a question right back at us which was should gamers be played this way should games be played this way his thinking was this Though cloud computing would work perfectly for every game in a perfect world, in reality, there are tight limitations. Shooting games that rely on Twitch reflects a struggle in cloud environments because any input lag can muddle the experience and their environments are so dynamic that rollback networking is an uncomfortable fix. I think games need to be designed around the idea that people are playing in the f in playing it from the cloud he mused when game developers design around the media that's when we get the magic okay uh the president of his thinking lies in games like candy crush and other games designed first for mobile services a more nuanced example would be the Le legend of zelda the breath of the wild which showcased the nintendo switch capabilities as both a portable device and tv ready console candy crush is a clear example of making games for devices with vertical screens and touch based inputs but breath of the wild showcased a subtle range of engineering and design decisions that made the game work well on the switch i just bought that game actually a few days ago pretty good i like it a cloud's first title would be built from the ground up to handle the challenges of latency and could provide a smooth experience no matter what latency the user was experiencing if cloud game platforms are going to go mainstream boxers thinking is that they need their own breath of the wild so it's mostly just focusing on how to manage uh what, what a business plan would work for developers right be able to make that money back. That's interesting, man. I like that. 